Previously, we released a video that compared low center of gravity builds to high lift and oversized tire builds. And the topic of low center of gravity has come up again in our comments. And there are other creators out there who would like for you to believe that low center of gravity builds are the answer to every problem. And I'm here to tell you that that just isn't so. And we're going to prove it today. Today we're on Iceman, a typical level 6 trail in the Black Hills of South Dakota. And what you can expect to find when you're in South Dakota is large rocks, dry creek beds with dry waterfalls, and bedrock ledges. Now that loud clunk that you just heard was the center of the skid plate coming in full contact with the rock ledge. Now as we discussed in the previous video, most low center of gravity builds are based on up travel. Well this is a problem that no amount of up travel is going to solve. The only thing that's going to cure this is more spring height and possibly more tire size to create more breakover angle get that skid plate off of the rock ledge. Let me know what you think in the comments. Would longer spring height and 37 inch tires have gotten the Jeep up and over that ledge? I have to say that I believe that it would, because not more than two days earlier, in this exact same spot, this Jeep went up that ledge. The only difference is I wasn't carrying the spare tire on the rear. So that was 130 pounds that was missing off of the back end and almost three inches of spring compression. So let me know what you think in the comments. Is the high lift big tire build a ridiculous fad from the past? Or does it still have merit in the off-road world today? While there's value in moving all of the weight as low as possible in the vehicle, here in our neck of the woods, ground clearance reigns supreme. Too wet. You guys uh, need to come to Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just the extra weight on the back end. Could be. Just kidding. <laughs> Last time I did it, I didn't have a spare tire on the back. <laughs> spare tire does make a difference. Ah, extra 130 pounds. <laughs> 